how is mining gold changing today? And I'm not talking about mining cryptocurrencies, just mining gold or mining other metals and materials from the ground. What you see behind me is San Francisco. In 1848, San Francisco had 200 inhabitants. By 1852, just four years after, San Francisco had 36,000 inhabitants and the state of California was born. So what caused this huge change in population was what is known as the first golden rush globally. Today, the same city is the epicenter of an AI revolution that is transforming that very mining industry that got the first golden rush here in San Francisco. First of all, artificial intelligence being used to identify where to drill. So before artificial intelligence, the precision of this process was 1.5%. So it was basically an art more than a science. Now, there are startups working in this field. They brought the precision from 1.5% to 66 or more percent. So that's to start with. But of course, the companies that run the mines are interested in a variety of things. One, increasing productivity, and two, of course, increasing the quality, if you like, of life of the miners, eliminating risks that have to do with the safety in, in the mines. So the first place where they utilize artificial intelligence is by building automated drillers. These are not ubiquitous utilized today, but they're utilized every time this is possible. And then the automated sorting. So the automated sorting of the material, think for a second, if I have a two piece of uh, ground, okay, one doesn't contain anything and one contains the material that I want to process. If I make a mistake, I put all of them in the truck, in large numbers, I'm consuming more energy, I'm spending more money, so the sorting operations is being transformed by artificial intelligence. And then it is already several years that the entire movement of the material within the mine and from positions of the mine to the uh, place where the material is uh, congregated. This has uh, been carried out by autonomous driving and autonomous vehicles. These type of autonomous vehicles are a little bit different than the ones that you are used to, like the Tesla of the world. These ones are a fleet of trucks that move synchronously. They're completely automated. There is no human being at all. In addition to that, some of the most advanced companies in the world, they're also starting to create automated trains that take the material from the mine directly to the place where it needs to be shipped or it needs to be processed with an automated train. So the industry that was started here in a way is completely transformed by artificial intelligence and we can learn three things out of uh, this story today. The first thing that uh, we we'll want to learn is that once more all companies, all the industry new huge opportunity. It's not just Google, Amazon, they use artificial intelligence. No, it's the most, the most, the oldest industries in the world, the most ubiquitous impact on the economy, they are affected by artificial intelligence. So old company, new opportunity. Number two, we observe evolution of jobs, as I mentioned in another video. So the miners in, in some of these um, mining companies are going from being truck drivers, from being people that operate drillers, to basically advanced artificial intelligence technicians that sit inside an operation room and are monitoring huge processes, like huge processes going on and off. So the transformation of the role of human beings in the context of very complex industrial processes. There is a good and there is a bad. The good is that the human being gets elevated. The bad is that we need less human beings. I'll let you judge on that. But what I really want to focus on is the evolution of these complex processes. Now, in order to design these processes that uh, are evolving because of artificial intelligence, we need somebody there in these companies, in any company in the world, that uses the brain, that understands artificial intelligence to a certain level of technology that, and then design these new processes, or at least starts the process. That's what I call AI Playmaker. Now, if you wanna be one of those AI Playmaker, you know the place where to go, that's my course, is completely based on real use cases, and that will shape your mindset to do this type of things. Go in an old company, in a new company as well, and create, shape the future 
of tomorrow. Thank you very much.